Hi, oh, it's Travel with Jason F and Co. He's brother. Now, day number seven. Uh, well, it's really day seven. Yep, it certainly is. Time flies yep, when you're being We're off to have breakfast. We just posted a load more parcels. Uh, one a gift package to our uh, auntie. And, and parcel back to back, him. Parcel back to mine because I spent too much money like normal. And a little gift to a friend of mine. And, uh, well, well that basically it. Yep. Uh, we're now going to have breakfast, thanks to the half price offer. And in, uh, the, in the standing order yep. that we had dinner last night. Yep, and that is our Weatherspoons. It's actually behind us. The big up, it used to be a bank from Scot the Bank of Scotland, their yep. head office. So that's yep. where we're off to now. So. And we're going to see where the day takes us. Yep. And that's that's for later. Bye for now. Bye bye. Now we're just waiting for our breakfast. This is the Weatherspoon standing order or standing order. It is a really nice pub. It puts mugs and to shame back in Maidstone. Load rooms down there and rooms in there as well. It is quite a big pub. Now just wait for our breakfasts. Well, our breakfast has turned up in a matter of about a minute or two of ordering it. But then the tomato is still on there that we have to be removed. But I've got to admit, for once, my tomato actually looks cut. Mine just looks like it's been on the grill for about a couple extra seconds. Can't say the same normal. about Mikhail's one. But it still looks good, apart from the mushroom. I mean, tomato. Alright, let's join. I mean, the mushroom looks actually really good. Yeah, the mushroom's nice and big. Shame we can have two of them. Right, let's eat. As you can see, I've cleared my plate. Mikhail, yeah, as you can see, but he's got my tomatoes. Well, I don't like tomatoes. We did yeah. ask for no tomatoes, but oh well, shit happens. Part of my French, I'm not meant to swear. Uh, now, here's the debate Would you rather have a mushroom or a fried tomato? Comment down below. So, uh, we just join our Coke, well, Pepsi. Sherry. Yep. As you can see, he's got a Loch Ness monster on, but it's done his Jurassic Park style. And um, we're going to go hunting later in the charity shops. We're not literally hunting. But yeah, we are, we're hunting. We're having a new, we're having a moon yeah. And then, oh, yeah, and then we're going to Edinburgh Dungeons later. We are. So that'd be good. As you can see, another good old church. KFC. I mean, if you look in front of me, I mean, that cross is gorgeous. And then you got on the right, another gorgeous church. See what's attached to it. Uh, and then that's the street we're going to in a minute. We're going crossing over. Okay, a bit of modern stuff behind it, but oh well, that's life. Alright, we're going to cross over the road. We are. So you get to see. Uh, we're literally down there. Oh, yeah, don't forget uh, to now, if you're coming to Edinburgh, any time from now till, well, near future, you don't have to press the buttons from 7am to 7pm to cross the road on the Zebra Crossing. Uh, it automatically do it, so, but it does feel weird. And, well, it's just... And also, Weatherspoons from Fish Friday up Scotland, do not know about England, they're not taking any cash and orders from the bar, it's just from the app only, so but we should be able to tell you later on when we, we get back to London, London. yep right and as you can see that's what I was talking about 
So that's really nice. Not sure if it's a hotel or a bar, but I say it's a, oh, that's a hotel. Yeah, it's a hotel. It's a Wardorf. I never say the name properly. That's it. Now we just gotta wait. And if you look in the distance, you see the castle again. Another bit that we have not actually seen. So yeah, it's pretty good. Right, let's go down this way. Well, we've walked all around, we've walked did a big old block really. And now we're back near enough where we started. And I'm gonna, uh, if we can get in here, I do believe we can. We're gonna go in here and then we're going to the back of the castle and walk around there. Another very old graveyard. Has been used for quite some time, probably a hundred years or two. See you. All the old crypts. You imagine walking in here at night. Yeah. You imagine walking here in the middle of the night. Creepy. Oh, Mikhail's walking that way. Let's see. Very old graveyard. More in there somewhere. Don't know, don't know how you get into that bit. As you see, there's no church in front of us. All these places have became a tourist place, really. Not because. I mean, it's around there. But I'm gonna walk around this bit. I'm gonna go up there. See how old they are by they're falling apart. Oh. Filming again. Well, I'm on this side again. I'm tr seeing if I can get into that bit there. Yes, there. We might be able to. Uh, uh, I think I see a little gap right there. I don't know if that's meant to be normal. Oh, I it. Is that a normal gap? I know, but I see a freaking head. Where do you see a head? There, on the wall. Where? On that wall. I'm blind. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, know, you bet you can't. Let's see if I can sign into it. Why don't you just show them when you get over there? Yeah. Oh well, look, see the head. I'll show you when you get down there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If it's a pop bar, way to get in here at some points. Oh, somebody was rich. Uh huh. This is, I think, quite old, quite interesting. Uh, oh. And before I go, I was going to show you this head. Here we are. Here's that head we can see. Imagine that with some paint on 
that would make you know show in the dark and then go up from then you can go up from there and back to the street now we are going into the park if you can't hear the kids got this fountain right here I mean that is gorgeous looks like they're actually cleaning it probably giving a bit of fresh water or sucking the pennies up if it's got any pennies in and uh, looks like they're hoovering it uh, so yeah I mean look at that that is gorgeous they mind and that's what we're going in Well, we've just came out of the Edinburgh Dungeons. Uh, and it's it was an it's hour's show and it's actually worth it. It's quite fun. Yeah. Some features are turned off at the moment due to circumstances. Yep, that's right. But apart from that, everything else yeah. is fun. And they have hand sanitizer in every room as you yeah. go in. That's right, it does. You, uh, you put your hands and they tell you where to stand so that you're away from another party. That's it. And they don't overcrowd it. In, no. in our tour, there was only... An, Three parties. No, there was only two other parties plus yeah, us. Included. Another, there was two people. Yeah. And also a family of four. Yeah. And that, that was, was it. it. All together, eight people, including yep. us two. So not yep. bad time. And it was really good. Yeah. And, but you've got to pre-book your tickets. We yep. were lucky enough to get it for the next day, but yes, you right. might not be able to. No. Your best luck is to just go on their website and see what you can and get. And see when you can get it next. Yep. And, and go from there. And our, our message is book, book, and more book. Yep. Well, if moment. you're ever thinking of going anywhere, go on their website and book yep. and book. Because there's a good book. chance you won't be able to just walk yep. in. And it's all cashless as well. And it's so. all cashless. Yeah, it's card, literally just card, card, card. Card and card. card. And that's it. So, <clears throat> yep, there's right. another review done for you lot. So now we're off to, uh, well, back to the hotel, do a couple yep. of bits. And if we've got enough money left over, we might even do London uh, London Dungeons at the end of this holiday. And that's it. All right. So that's keep watching that's and you'll soon find out. All right. Bye. Bye. Floor that's been added, that's been well, added. this is a view from the sixth floor from the hotel, and obviously, you can see it's raining mm. at the moment. But we've had good weather, so we'll yeah, so not bad. Probably just heavy showers. Obviously, there's an empty floor right above, above opposite us, opposite, so I can't see nothing from there. But that's that. Wait, and then you can see over here. But uh, obviously just a courtyard and a little bit over there. And I do believe there's another window here. But it's blanked out so I can't see nothing. So that is it. Yeah. Now that's the sixth floor. And back down we go to go out. Yeah, see level two. And this is where we're eating tonight. The Chinese dragon, Chinese well, the Golden Dragon, the Chinese restaurant. So that's where we're eating. And we'll see what we get. And, um, well, this is uh, inside it. The Golden. You get them. And you get that, let's see. Don't know what it is. We'll soon Puppies. find out. Um, Shall we find out now for you, Lord? Yeah, Mikhail's going to open it up. It comes with the Zodiacs. Yep, with Chinese things. And... Oh, it's just, it's just wet wipes. Oh, wet wipes. Wipe. Wipe. Oh, well, that's wet wipes. So, let's see wet wipes. I've ordered vegetable spring rolls and a special fried rice. And Mikhail's ordered chow mein. I've ordered uh, special chow mein, some egg fried rice, and uh, some curry sauce. Yep, and that's what we ordered. And obviously, we've also got a Coke each. Yep. So, we just got to wait for it to be cooked. Right. Well, this is my special fried rice. There is. That is what you call a big portion. Ah, uh, vegetable spring rolls. 
and then Mikhail, this is Mikhail's side plate, fried rice, egg fried rice that is, and you see Mikhail's main dinner right there, okay it's not actually, it's just coming, yeah, it's going to be chow mound so it'll be here sir, and you look he's quite an expert with chopsticks, he is so, uh, I'm quite adequate, yeah so he's quite good he is, and as you can see, his chow mein has now turned up. And you can see it's steaming, so that's good. And his curry sauce has also turned up, so we're now gonna sit, sit and enjoy it and, and eat our dinner. Gorge. As you can see, I have finished my plate. And all the baseball spring rolls are gone. Mikhail is near enough to finish his fried rice and his curry sauce is near gone and that boy is all down. Gone. Yeah, all gone. And he's just got remains of that lot there. And their curry rice is to die for. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's been a really nice meal. Mm, worth every penny. Yeah, stuffed I am. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. Very I nice. Need, I might need a lolly at some point, but... Yeah. <laughs>